Alright, hey guys. So I went by EB Games today, and uh, I bought some tins, these Pokeball tins. I had uh, been wanting to grab these for a while. I was hoping that they'd come out with a uh, Ultra Ball, or a Master Ball, not an Ultra Ball. I got the Ultra Ball because they didn't have a Master Ball, and then they had the uh, Premier Ball, which I thought was cute. These ended up running me about, um, about $17 after my uh, loyalty card discount. And uh, then when we bought the rest of these, we also got, or when we bought them, we also got this Zygarde um, Legendary Pokemon promo, which uh, I've gotten several of. I'm going to be keeping this one sealed in the package and then just putting that away. I already have one that I kept for my binder, so that was kind of cool. Let's move on to the, let's open the Ultra Ball first and see if I can get this unwrapped without destroying the paint job of the thing. All right, so I managed to get that much off there. And then we got our sticker on the bottom. Made in China, no shit. All right, so we've got the Ultra Ball. It actually looks pretty cool. It's uh, very, much what I would expect, how I would expect a poke, a ma uh, size of a Pokeball to look when in the real world. So how do we open this? So it just comes off. Yeah, oh yes it does. These guys come with three packs and one um, coin in it. So our coin is a, oh, it's a Volcanion coin. That's kind of cool there. I don't know if coins are worth anything, but uh, we've got one there. We've got a Burning Shadows pack, a Crimson Invasion, and an XY Evolutions. So let's start with the XY Evolutions. The uh, the Charizard in this set actually has started to go up quite a, a bit, and it's now worth about 40 to $60 if you get it in good enough shape. So this is a uh, XY Thing. So it's one, two, three to the front, and then there's no energy on the back. So we've got Pokedex, Kakuna, Potion, Diglett, Drowsy, Caterpie, Doduo, Pikachu, a Reverse Charmander. The Reverse Charizard is actually worth uh, even more as well than just the Hollow Charizard. And then on the end we have a Dugong, so we didn't get anything great out of that. Let's go with Crimson Invasion, since the Burning Shadows has the uh, Rainbow Charizard in it. It is super expensive. And this is Sun and Moon, so it will be 1, 2, 3, 4 to the front. We've got our Psychic Energy, Diggersby, Peking Red Card, Grumpig, Swablu, he's kind of cute, he's all excited or surprised. We've got a Carablast. Skidoo, or Skiddo, Chimecho, Mischievous, a Reverse Bunnelby, and, ooh, and a Scavalier on the end. One of my favorite, uh, I believe it was Gen 4 Pokemon. Uh, I might already have this card, I'm not sure though. And then we'll go on to Burning Shadows. I'm hoping for that Rainbow Charizard, because that would very much make these tins worth it. One, two, three, four. We've got a leaf energy, a grass energy, weakness policy, Poe Town, Ribombi, Venipede, Sneasel, Alolan Vulpix, Horsey, Noibat, a reverse Panseer, and an Alolan Eradicate. So th all three of these did not have hollows or better in them. That kind of sucks. We'll open this Premier Ball one now. All right. Peel the rest of this off. Right, some of this off. Hope it helps us get this off even more. There we go. I 
should be able to get this off now. I just don't have to uh, just keep the bottom bit on. There we go. Oh, we've got a, ooh, a Zera Aura pin, or t uh, coin. That one's really cool. It's a bit uh, dented there from being hooked into the top. And then we've got, what I'm, oh, yeah, we've got an XY Evolutions, a Crimson Invasion, and a Burning Shadows. So we'll start with the Evolutions again. Hoping for that Charizard in two of these packs. One, two, three to the front. And we've got a Porygon, a Pokedex, Kakuna, Staryu, Onyx, Weedle, Machop, Tangela, a reverse is an Onyx, and then on the end we have a Mega Pidgeot EX. And we actually got something that's at least worth a little bit. More, better than a, a rare at least. And uh, not the Charizard, but still something pretty cool at least. Go Crimson Invasion next. I actually don't know what is really in Crimson Invasion. Since I wasn't collecting at the time, and I don't really know, don't have any idea what's inside of it. That's one, two, three, four. We've got a Fighting Energy, Devoured Field, oh, a Pile of Swine, a Pile of Swine, Psychic Memory, Chime Show, Bunnelby, Carablast, Spoink, Salandit, a Reverse is an Alolan Geodude, and on the end we have an Altaria for that. Uh, Swab blue that we got in the last pack. And then on to the final pack, Burning Shadows. And this guy. One, two, three, four. Psychic Energy. Wick. Seviper. Sophocles. Sandygast. Fryhorn. A Knitted Marill. Caterpie. Morlo, a reverse is a Whirlipede, and on the end, what do we have? We have a Turtonator. So that kind of sucks. We ended up getting one good card out of those packs and two coins that I don't know if you know if coins are worth anything. But we did get two fairly cool um, tins, which I will be holding on to because they were the main reason that I bought these. So, I mean, that's something, right? So we're gonna open uh, Breakpoint Pack and Three Fates Collide Packs. Um, in both cases, we are looking for the full art. I, I think it's an ultra rare, but it might be might be even higher. What's higher than ultra? Anyway, um, the uh, full arts of the EX cards. Uh, Fates Collide has Glaceon and Umbreon, which is why I got two. And Breakpoint, we will start with to see if we have managed to hit the nail on the head with the Espeon. We got Nuzleaf, Puzzle of Time, Aromatis, Chikorita, Shanks, Numel, Cricketot, Rattata, All Night Party. That? That is an Umbreon. Look at that. I, I have no idea what this card is. I've never seen it before, but it has an Umbreon on it, so that is super cool. It's going in my binder. And then last is a Seismitoad, which is not, not the Espeon we were looking for, but hey, um, looking for an Espeon, getting an Umbreon, nothing wrong with that. Now we are looking for the full arts of Glaceon and Umbreon. Warmadam, Devolution Spray, Almond Knight, Riolu, Vullaby, Coughing, Spoink, Diglett, Ranunculus Reverse, and a Superior, who I like, but is not an Espeon, or Umbreon. Chaos Tower, that's a pretty card. Zygarde is a dog. Hmm. Bent Spoon, Whisper, Seal, Cottony, Riolu, Vullaby, Solosis, and a Genesect EX. That's a neat card. 
not what we're looking for, but cool. Well, I guess that means we're not getting both the Espeon, uh, the Glaceon and the Umbreon. That would have been ridiculous. So last shot, Pipitar, Energy Reset, Shauna, Cottony, Riolu, Vullaby, Coughing, Spoink, Mothin, and Grumpig. No luck there. <laughs>